Hey y'all, welcome back to Knitting in Our Jeans. I'm Liz. I'm Carolyn. Let's make sure the vine's up. Okay. Okay. Yes, it was the Elmsford Church. Uh, it was loud. It was. Yes. Um, Good you can loud. find me on Instagram and Ravelry <laughs> as to Liz for you. T O O L I Z Z F O R Y O U. That is a rather old name. I uh, guess. <laughs> you were quite young when you thought that one up. I was. I was at least in high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Serves me well. Yeah. Yeah, no one else would take it. Nope. <laughs> and I'm C P R E D M O R on Ravelry and have been knit knitting, have been hosting, hosting sporadically mm -hmm. as knitting in our jeans on Instagram. Yeah. I so far missed it. I missed yesterday. I seem to be doing something yeah. about every other day. I need to post a catch up post. Um, for... so if I can after this maybe I'll do a post for today. Ketchup posts don't really work. I'll just I know. do whatever the day is. I know. You know. I'm going to do a ketchup post and then I'm going to try and keep up with it for the rest of the, you know, week. I said that to myself last Sunday. Yeah, that's, you know. Yeah. It, it is what it is. It I is. Get, I get involved in something or it's snowing. Something happens to me on the days that it's snowing. It's like, it's a mental holiday. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere. I could just sit here on the sofa working on whatever I'm working on and look out the window and the flakes are coming down. God. It's lovely. Uh, <laughs> sounds like retirement yes. is lo absolutely lovely. Well, yeah, Friday. Well, Thursday it snowed during the night mm -hmm. and then we got up on Friday and, and it was snowing fits and starts. Mm. And yeah, you know, it's, Yes, for so many years, I was worried about how do I get from here to the Bronx, mm -hmm. which is not easy, and it would be anywhere from a 45-minute to a three-hour drive, mm -hmm. and there were, it's, I remember the day that the school buses took three hours to get home, mm -hmm. and it took me three and a half, mm -hmm. uh, because things were freezing as the sun went down. I had gotten a great neck. <sighs> that was good, and the last hour was heck on wheels. And I eventually got, at some at one of those trips home, I got a, a mail carrier. A female mm. mail carrier told me how to get around the traffic jam. I said, there's got to be another way around mm. this hill because they're stopped on the hill. I, I don't have a problem getting up the hill. She says, well, if you go here and go here and then you'll end up on Middle Neck Road and you can get, I went, yes, I can do that. And I did. And I can remember the Jeep ad that says, in bad weather, if you'd like to see a Jeep in your driveway, why isn't it there? And I said, you're right. Only I wanted a Ford Explorer. Mm -hmm. And that was a brilliant move on my part. It was. That car had a low four-wheel drive, so you just moved a lever and it went, <laughs> and it, it would get you out of, of mud ponds. I mean, it was it amazing. It was one heck of a machine. I can remember coming home from the Bronx. I was going 20 miles an hour up the entrance ramp, and people are going off on either side of me, and I'm just going steadily. You couldn't go above 20 miles an hour on that really low four-wheel mm -hmm. drive, but it just hunkered down and dug in and got me up the hills. And I didn't have to worry after that. Did not have to worry. <sighs> And I'm not going to say those were the days because they were traumatic. So I am very pleased when at dinner time, Rich and I can look at each other and say, so do we have to go anywhere tomorrow? And the answer is, no, we don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. All right. <laughs> we are learning the fine art of staying up late and, and getting up late. Too. Dad, is, dad is, is slowly becoming as nocturnal as you and I can. I know. Which is like adorably hilarious. <laughs> Because yeah. he is, but he's also very, like, and I, by that I mean, Saturday he stayed up till 1230 last night. He was watching the America's Cup. I know, but like, that's it's late in, for him. It's in New Zealand, mm -hmm. or off of New Zealand, and so they're uh, being broadcast very late. Uh, the reception here is very late, so he's staying up to watch the America's Cup. The funniest boats that they're using, they've got hydrofoil feet. They do. And so and, and so they're on one tack. This leg is up in the air. This is one's down here. So basically they're sailing on a rudder, a keel, and one leg. And a leg. hydrofoil. Yeah. Well, and, and the hydrofoil. keel is a hydrofoil itself. Yes. So they're like out of the water and like 
They look you like could, spiders to You me. could not pay me enough to be on that boat. And if they actually, the bottom of the boat is in the water, that means that they're dead in the water pretty much. They hardly move at all when the whole bottom of the boat's in the water. Mm -hmm. Totally foreign to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm finding it difficult to engender much excitement about watching it because I can't, I have no sense of any relationship with these, you know, sailing spiders. Um, and it's just like one leg is up and the other's down and then they, they tack and then this leg is, it looks to me like an insect's leg. So anyway, mm -hmm. so I apologize for not posting regularly on Instagram during February, but I've also been doing Black Lives Matter Month or Black History Month. That's Black it. History Month. <laughs> because yes. I thought that it's important to, yeah. to look at things that have happened. And I've, I've told my mother for decades, you know. You wonder about the lost mental capacities, uh, or the loss of society, that's the word, the loss of society and not using all of our people's mental capacities to their best. And you look at um, different races who may not have been appreciated, or just really look at women. You know, for how many centuries have women been kicked to the curb and said, you don't matter and you're no better than the dog or the dog's better than you are. And it doesn't matter if you had a good idea or anything else. And then we had people like Madame Curie. Well, you know, we had George Washington Carver who managed to make 200 different things out of a peanut. Mm -hmm. And I worry about the tobacco farmers in North Carolina. I really do. I mean, my, my father worked with a guy who worked at R.J. Reynolds, you know, at a desk, but his family had a tobacco farm. I mean, we used to go and see them, and, and he had cattle and everything else. And at one time, people thought tobacco was good for you, and, and we know why. Because bugs don't come near you if you're smoking tobacco. Mm. So in early England, mm. the people that smoked tobacco didn't die the plague. Mm. So it was healthier to smoke. Um, you were noxious to the bugs. <laughs> So you wouldn't catch plague, but you would die later of mysterious causes. But later is better. Mm -hmm. So I keep thinking there must be, if you can find 200 things to do with a peanut, there got to be things you can do with a tobacco leaf. Yeah. I don't know. It's not my brain that's going to figure this one out, but it seems to me that there's probably some really good things you could take out of a tobacco plant. And I know that Awesome. I have no idea how she got from one to the other, y'all. Anyway, like, y'all are this. confused. Let me finish this. That some people who have mental illnesses, particularly schizophrenia, find that smoking helps calm them down mm -hmm. because nicotine fits on some of the their receptors mm -hmm. that helps close that chemical gap. Mm -hmm. So, it means appreciating everybody. Mm. That's how I got to this. I was very confused Black how we History got History Month from George, Black History Month George to Washington, tobacco farmers. George Washington Carver. Okay. And the peanut. Anyway, so I've been trying to combine little facts about Black History Month and as well as answering the February questions. I think I've been doing I just don't do it every day because I've got retirement brain. <laughs> And, you know, uh, not necessarily pandemic brain, but quarantine brain, which means I'm not responsible for anything. <laughs> Time has no meaning anymore to anyone, really. Right. really I, I realized we're, we're not having to meet with people. The things that happen during the year, well, we're not having a year up for. Well, I mean, I, I just had my six months at my job and I legitimately was like, it feels like forever and it feels like no time at all. Yeah. Yes, so. very much. It's it's much different. Much yes. different. So. Yes. God bless you. Thank you. We continue to sing in the choir, um, but pre-taped. Mm -hmm. I actually um, got some of the songs done for this week. So yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. <clears throat> and my voice was pretty good for the two things that I turned Good. in. Other than that, it's a struggle, but you know, we struggle on. Mm -hmm. So, so what else have you been working on this week? I have been working like a fiend on two things: socks. Mm -hmm. Till I got to the point where I don't know what's going on. It was very <laughs> cute, and so I said, "You're going to be here. You can explain to me because you've made these socks before." 
but I had been working on the can of cross stitch. Yeah. So I had, I think the first two filled in. I now have up to four filled in. We're, we have a small problem that this color is running out. Now we'll own up to the fact that I was doubling the strands. So this was a two strand, but it was a full cross stitch. Mm -hmm. And the designer wanted me to only do once one, one, one cross? One direction. Essentially a, a needle Half cross. point? Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you take this and flip it to here, it doesn't go, mm -hmm. that does not cover the rest of this. No, no, it looks all. like you use it more than just those two rows, too. Looks like it's used down here a little. Yeah, and... I mean, it's used not just mm -hmm. up there. So anyway, I've now, I've decided that I'm going to cut this out. I will do it like the embroidery, and I've ordered new DMC that's the color that's supposed to be close to this. So I will be using all the DMC for the sky. Okay. So that has been ordered. I am loving doing this. Uh, you know, you get into... It's a little, like, meditative Well, zone. and and you just get into things where I want to work on this kind of craft, mm -hmm. or I want to work on that kind of craft. And at this moment... This is speaking to me. I understand completely. Yes. So I did more than just fill in two. I've gotten almost. You started the roof over there. I've almost gotten Sorry. six done. And then and what then I'm doing is I'm taking. Here. Yes. And I'm taking what that was matched with this roof. Mm -hmm. You see. So there was only a little bit of this roof that needed to be done. So then I went over here and I filled in this roof. What I do find. Is if I take my my eyes off of the a square that I'm working on, when I come back to it, I'm up and to the right. Mm. <laughs> I am just up and to the right. Like you can watch the shift. The other night it was up over two and up. <laughs> and so I've been cutting out a lot. Well, but it looks least, really good. At least some. But I think you can see that it is coming along. It is. Rich is enjoying this because he's he's because it's moving along. He's really enjoying seeing the mountains arrive and Lake Como is just like that. That the mountains come down almost right to the edge of the water. There's a very thin uh, flat space of town, very thin. So there's a road and there's the width of one building on the side next to the lake and maybe the width of two buildings. On the other side, they're very narrow uh, where we were staying. Where, where did we stay? I don't remember the town that we stayed in, um, but it was a tiny town. Across the lake, there was a town that begins with a B, and I can't remember at the moment, Bell something, and its town went up the hill. So there was a flat space for like two buildings, and then you just went up the hill. <clears throat> and this area is known for silk scarves. So... I went and looked. I bought a, I bought a ton of silk scarves, really inexpensively, and then handed them out as gifts when I got home. So anyway, but this is coming along, and I'm thrilled with mm -hmm. the whole thing. Have not heard from the tapestry people. Well, I keep hearing from them. They say it's it's on its way. It's it's worked through another piece of being shipped over. And I went great, because obviously I'm not working on it right now. Um, I am trying to hold myself back to laying out the grid on that Christmas angel because mm -hmm. I really want to do that now that I've gotten the heavier mm -hmm. thread, but I've been working on this. So that's the... You're trying to be semi-monogamous monogamous with your yes. crafting? Yes. 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 Because I do want to get this done. Mm -hmm. um, the pandemic, for those of you who are getting your shots, we're going to be let loose a little bit once we get the second shot. And we're three to four weeks out from that. We'll still have to be wearing our masks, but we will not, supposedly not be able to get extremely sick. We won't be hospitalized so that we'll be able to get out and about some, but still wearing masks. So because you can be ace. You can be a transmitter of asymptomatic virus. Right. So you'd be still wearing your mask to protect others. But I might have a little less time. We might have places to go. So like you, when you might have a grocery store to yeah, go to. Yes. When, when at dinner time you're saying, do you have to leave tomorrow to go anywhere? The answer may more frequently be yes rather than no. Speaking of which, your, we left the house today. What are you talking about? I was going to say, your, my father is very excited for you to be able to go to the grocery store again. 
I don't know why, because he never talks really about it when I'm, I mean, it's just oh. he and I. Oh, because he, for some reason, it slightly irks him that I still come over and bring groceries, because he we, he, because he misses things. Well, no, plus the one he, the grocery store he goes to is a smaller one. And so it does not have some it of the things. It does not have some of the things. It's a very nice grocery store, <laughs> and they treat him very well, um, and he goes there because... When it is smaller, it is on the North Shore, and everybody's wearing masks. It's like everybody's behaving themselves, so he feels more comfortable there. It's very funny. I don't know if he'll actually say that you get like that that like you're gonna know. you're gonna be able to go grocery shopping when all this uh, is done. Uh, but it's very funny. Uh -huh. Anyway, so I've been working yeah. on this. What are you working on? Um, so I have finished the baby blanket for a college friend. Um, so I am going to throw it in the wash. I do think the um, the I cord border looks really good with the yellow. I love it. I think I the yellow just love it pulls it all together. Um, so this will go through the wash and will be delivered probably next weekend because um, I want to send it. Through the wash on high, mm -hmm. and then, um, what is this? Well, it keeps talking, and then I'll talk. Uh, I want to send it through the washer on high, and then I want to um, weave in the ends once that's done and determine whether or not it needs to, because it's acrylic, if I iron it, it will um, melt the fibers in a way that it won't really distort anything um but it it's essentially blocking of acrylics um is melting of the fibers um so it's more determining if i need to like make it more square shaped versus this versus because some it's, it's kind of petal like now. it's kind of petal like and i don't know what it'll what'll come of it um so yeah what are you doing over here well, this is my idea for protecting the embroidery when it's made into a pillow. This is a, a translucent silk. Yeah, I don't like it. If you don't like it. Well, I'm going to still work with it because it's still right, not on the frame. It's, okay. You know, I know. We may just have to let the pillow get picked. You might. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll use it on a few small ones. Maybe. We'll see. I, I, was, I would say definitely... Do the test on not this pillow because no. this pillow is going to be a masterpiece. Yes, and I think if you're going to do something like that, I you want to some hand little tiny ones. Remember, they're yeah. there. Remember from uh, Liberty. Yeah, so, so I can things. test it with that. Um, and so since I started or I finished that baby blanket, I on. This afternoon? Wednesday? <laughs> no. No? Oh my goodness. On Wednesday, I had, I picked oh up my the yarn Lord. that I had bought. Ultra lock. Yeah. Um, oh, that goodness. I had bought for a baby blanket, and I found a pattern that uses it, and it's ultra lock. I'm about half, I'm just over halfway through. Got right? One, or, one, two, three, yeah. I have to do 19 rows so essentially it's three three sets of the three colors um and then i'll take a look at the photo again to confirm it's actually not that hard i don't i just don't care for entrelac i mean i'm not a huge fan of it but i think it'll make a really lovely it's blanket it's lovely it's gorgeous and it doesn't use as much yarn as you know some other blankets that i was looking at you've done a lovely job and i love the way it looks Absolutely. And mom just can't believe that I've decided to do entrelac. I just... I Mind just, you, this is how much I've done since Wednesday. It's floating along. Oh, yeah. So, um, I really... I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, Good. Which is a shock. Um, but it's I think one it's... one of these is separate. Bulky. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done entrelac? I have done entrelac. Yes, I've done entrelac, which is why I know I don't like it when I do entrelac. Of course, the entrelac I've done is usually with babies' hats. Ah, no. So it's using bulky or Aaron Aaron slash bulky yarn for a blanket. So much better. Yes. 
Um, so this will obviously then also get washed and um, probably ironed out and blocked a little bit just so that it's not as... I like the bubbliness, but I'm not sure. I like sure. the bubbliness very much. It we'll makes see. it look like it's woven. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I am going to put... It calls for a crochet edge, but I'm going to probably, again, put an I-cord on it. Um, or just an maybe a Pico. Um, but it depends on how much yarn I have left. Um, you the gray... You an edge on it. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. <laughs> My crochet looks like garbage. Ah. Um, so you use one strand across the whole thing, or are these yeah. separate? No. Nope. Oh, oh, all right. Each row is one, and okay. then I'm snipping it at the edge. I could be carrying them up, but you switch sides. Ah. So I will end up tying these to get the two ends together of the start and the finishes mm -hmm. and then I will weave them in um, but I am going to be knotting them um, together but it's yeah it's really not as frustrating as I thought it was going to be well that's good yeah um and I think I'll I have think it's the gorgeous. main part of it done it's gorgeous. probably by what next kind of week. border do they say to put on it as I said a crochet oh and you laughed at me because my crochet looks like poop I know these things about myself. It's okay. See, and, and I'm crocheting the embroidery on my dress. Yes. So. I can slip stitch. That's not a problem. Anything else, though, and it's it's a struggle. Oh, see, I love double and triples. Um, it's a struggle. So, but mine kind of go in and out. And I, uh, what I can't do is keep a block. I can't make a rectangle. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. So what else have you been working on? Oh, I have been working on socks. Mm. This is where I got to on two socks, and I was doing them two at a time. And I got to this point where I said, I don't understand the instructions. Mm -hmm. That I need to be doing the heel gusset, and I don't understand what they're telling me. So then I used Elizabeth as my consultant. And she basically said, yes, they are telling you that you have to work back and forth in short rows. And at that point, I realized I had to go to separate needles. Mm. Um, you should also try it on at this point. To okay. make sure you got the, the location length right. right. Yeah. So then this heel mm -hmm. is a bunch of short rows mm -hmm. coming up to here. And then I'm now starting the decrease. Because she's doing the vanilla reverse. Yes. And I, I will try them on. Can I try them on? Ow! I can try them on now because I have stockings on, not stockings, tights. It's a little tight. It's a little. I think it'll be fine. You think it'll be fine? Okay. I think it'll be fine. Okay. I could make the other one longer. Yeah, I like. I could take it out and I could do another quarter inch. I think that may be the best. All right. And I give up. Admit, and admittedly, you did that very quickly. The only reason well, I, I say it is because, hours. is because the heel goes very quickly. And I, as we know, and I've discussed, every time I do a new stitch count, I have to do the heel like three times because I would make it too long and then I make it too short. And then it's just right. I have done this much in two hours. Yeah. yeah. So I think so, yes. taking it Maybe out. another quarter inch. Yeah. Would, would work. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, and that's because I think I have a higher instep than you do. And that could be, that could account. I have a fairly high instep. Well, I'm just saying. Well, also because my toes are more pointed than yours. Like on my socks. Ah. So that could account for. Yes. That could. Yeah. Yes, because you give more toe. I give more toe. Yes. Before you become a the, the the sixty inches. The six inch, six and a quarter inches. The sixty inches. Stitches. 60 so sixty stitches. stitches. I'll get it right. Yeah. Yeah. So I have started my Bernie socks. There's the toe. Um I'll start <coughs> the color work this week. I have a dry spot in my throat. 
It's not fun. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I got up to 64 stitches. Um, and then when I head home, I will put it on to my two and a halfs because I think the color work starts right after the toe. Cool. Um, or because technically they're written to be top down, they are right before the toe. Um, but okay. why, why would I do anything as written? Right. Because apparently that's how my brain works right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're doing toe up. Yep. Okay. I'm doing the vanilla reverse, but with the chart from the socks to do the color work. Because that's what I like right now. And, yeah. So, what what else? What do you want to show off over there? I, I love Starbucks coffee. You do. Now, I have not gone out for Starbucks coffee in, in 11 months. But... The sexy knitter? Yes. The sexy knitter. Don't know. Yes. I believe it is the sexy knitter. Um, is on Etsy. And she makes these adorable. Oh, those Starbucks mugs. With heart in the crema. Aw. Yes, heart it's in a the foam. Heart in the crema. And I just. I said I had to have them. So. Obviously. I. Went online and I found them and she said, I'm all out. Do you want me to let you know when they're back in stock again? I said, oh, please do. And she did a week and a half ago. And I said, yes, I'll take one of the one set of those. So I have one, two, three, four. There's five because mm -hmm. I have one you of my socks. Sock. Um, do I wish they were removable? Yes. I do, because removable would mean they get claws or pinches, so you can move them. It's like when you're making a shawl or something, often you have to move your stitch mm -hmm. marker before you actually get to the stitch you marker. you earring findings and put them on them. Well, or lobster claws. Uh, yes. but and, and right now I put them on removable markers, mm. so I'll put them, I'll add them to something like this mm -hmm. that then they become removable um just because you're never quite sure and yes i do read the pattern somewhat in advance so when i don't understand it i assume i'll understand it when i get there usually i do mm -hmm. um but i they make me smile and at this point in our lives why not smile so show me those off what are you working on so I have a, almost the entirety of the back of the Penguino for a one and a half year old that I know. So it's these three greens and a tan and this dark brown. Um, and you, you I told me that you stuff. chose these colors because he's active with his pet dog. Well, he's, he's... <sighs> He's an active kiddo. Right. So he's And he's like got a... two pups at home. And they're large pups. And I just didn't want his mom to have to worry about it being too precious. Right. So darker colors make sense. Yeah. They look much darker on screen than they are, I feel. I think it looks really lovely. I like it a lot. Um, I, I kind of like it. It's super cute. His mom's a knitter. No. No? Ish. She learned and then she hasn't picked it back up again recently. So, okay. yeah. But she'll know. Oh, yeah. The work that went into this. Yeah. No, I've I've made her knitted things before. I made her and her husband a blanket for right. their wedding. Right. Um, no, she she knows. She knows how much work went in. Will be yeah. have gone so into it. Thank you. Well, I'm trying to decide. I have to look at the pattern again and remember how many rows are in the, side. the welts. Ah. I know it's nine on the other side, but that doesn't work out. Somehow it's not working out the same on this side, so I have to look at the pattern and confirm how it's done. Um, because you do the the welt making first with the right on the right side. Right. But somehow it's not turning out the same way. So I think it's just the fact that we're trying to record a podcast and I'm trying to do it at the same time. So, um, and then I, I borrowed some needles to use as a stitch holder because I have a stitch holder downstairs to okay. use as that's so why. I so I didn't work on the embroidery. That. My husband mm -hmm. kidnapped me to go work on the boat. Yes. Um, 
this afternoon and I was going to do embroidery then. Yes. Um, but that is high on my list to do this week because if I do that, then part of my desk will get cleared off. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a, a real positive thing. Mm -hmm. I have those Norse or Swedish mittens to work on. Um, mm -hmm. I forgot about them again. Mm. <laughs> so um, there, I'm hoping to make, I want to finish these socks, mm -hmm. get those done. I want to work on the counter cross stitch. And then I'll make a commitment to do embroidery. And if I manage to get the embroidery done and can get started back on those mitts, then great. If not, the mitts I'll have to hold till mm -hmm. the following week. So I do want to finish those socks because I have these socks. Yeah. To try to screw up again. <laughs> yeah, I have. The skew socks, which they make a gorgeous sock. It's just that it hasn't hit my brain exactly mm -hmm. how it works. And I'm going to have to sit in a very quiet room. Mm -hmm. And since Richard manages, he manages to find something to do all day. I mean, the fact that he and I are home by ourselves does not mean we're in the same room. No. He has his old dental office that he mm -hmm. disappears down into. And last week he started working on fixing the basement ceiling, which is its good points and its bad points. He is rearranging the basement. And he keeps calling, Carolyn, come down and look at this. I'm thinking about putting this over there. And it looks great. He goes, I don't care. It's the basement. It's like, I'm not spending my life down there. And I don't want to tell him that. So I go down and I tell him it looks really good. I think it's a great idea. And I go back upstairs. But he has taken all the exercise equipment and put it in a corner. So mm -hmm. you really can't use it. So I'm going to be stretching out on the dining room table <laughs> instead. I mean, honestly, that's... thrilled. I mean, but it's actually more stable than the situation he was... Well, you know, I... The leg I, stretches and everything is going to start happening tomorrow morning on the dining room table. It's a perfect height for me. It's, it's, and it's a very sturdy it's a, table. It's I made just, out of rock maple. I'm just saying it's m more sturdy than the folding table with the very Lots precariously put <laughs> support. Well, anyway, he kidnapped me this afternoon. I, we worked on the boat. Mm -hmm. I was the Sherpa, so I was hustling things back mm -hmm. from the car to the boat, back and forth. And it was icy, so it was taking a while because I, I couldn't go along the paths mm -hmm. because they were ice. So I was cutting new paths through the snow. I made all kinds of friends with the guys who were at the boatyard. There wasn't another woman in the <laughs> boatyard, but I had six guys that I made friends with. Um, and we all had our masks, so mm -hmm. we were all having conversations outside at a distance with our masks on. Boat people are really so very nice. And then... My feet were cold, but the rest of me was hot. So I was taking things up the ladder. Richard tried to hand me one of my paddles for my kayak. kayak. And he was pushing it down as I was trying to go up. And it missed my eye by the width of my eyelid. Because if I hadn't shut my eye, it would have been in my eye. So we almost had a tragedy. At that point, I said, I'm going to sit in the car. <laughs> And of course, that is the first thing she told me when they returned home because I am not dressed, or did, nor did I pack to go to the boatyard today, uh, because no one told me that that was on the agenda for today. I had no clue. So no clue. I did not. Right, but I your, would have packed appropriately. Your father said he was going at noon. I went, okay. I know. In the middle of Second Church. <laughs> yeah. Knock yourself out. But yeah. next thing I know, I I'm going to the boat. I would like you to come too. Oh, and he said, it. remember that very serious voice? It was, I teased. No, no, no. It was, well, are you coming to the boat with me? <laughs> well, I will come after church. What time? One-ish. Okay, we will leave at one. <laughs> <laughs> because he expected a fight. So he, oh. he was, he, I think I cut his legs right off. <laughs> <laughs> you were so great. Well, the best part was, is like, he was then ready at one. And mom was like, kind of meandering a little bit, just because you would, you were eating lunch, and then you were getting dressed, and then you had to get your shoes on, and then you had to go to the bathroom, and then you had to get your coat on. But he's like, <laughs> ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, two we went long. I know it did, but we it was had just, a stem winder of a sermon. It was good, but it, it was, was very funny because he was like very, very obviously like, "Okay, I'm ready. I'm, I'm not the one holding us up this time." <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but of course, mom then comes home, 
and proceeds to tell me twice about how my father almost knocked her eye out. And then, of course, Dad comes in and goes, you know, he's unpacked all this stuff. He finally is ready to, you know, talk. And he goes, oh, did you hear it? And I go, yes, Dad. Had a tragedy. Yeah, and I was like, yes, how you almost took my mother's eye out. Yes, I've heard twice. And he was like, oh. Well, okay. it was my experience. I know. He just gets very upset when we share his when when we we yes. share our our stories without him. Yeah. So FOMO. anyway, um, I waited till about quarter. So we got there, I guess, about two, mm-hmm. two fifteen, something like that. At quarter after four, I I called him, and because <laughs> I'm sitting in the car, my feet are cold because I've been making new paths in the snow. Mm-hmm. Um, and I said so, and he at that point he was done. So he says, yeah, I'm just coming down. I said, I'll come over and I'll help you bring stuff back to the car. He goes, okay. So then then he's very careful in mm-hmm. making sure as he puts things down, I am no, I'm standing <laughs> under the boat. I mean, I am by inside the rudder and as he's bringing, you know, I don't know. I still down. remember the, the Easter I came to come get you for choir and you, and you go, you need to help your father with something. I'm in a long skirt. Like I am, I am in perfect clothes to go on, up on, up the ladder, up the rickety old steel kind of rusty ladder. Extension ladder. Extension ladder at the boat in the boatyard. Totally. We're going to church for rehearsal and then for Easter vigil services. I'm not ready. We're both. So, I then I go. I get to go to the end of the boat. Mom's mom's like, y- you have to go help him. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get in the car. Uh, oh, okay, mom. Well, I go to the boat. <laughs> I, I go to the boat. I, you know, and go, Dad. What do you need? And he goes, I need you to come up here. Dad, do, do you not see what I'm in? I need you to come up here. I hiked up my skirts. I tied them in a knot, and I climbed the ladder. And then he handed me a sail bag to take down. But it was the funniest thing because I didn't realize that we had had um, neighbors. In the boatyard, until there were like claps coming from neighboring boats <laughs> for my. All right, well, I guess we're doing this. Yeah. So yeah, no, but uh, he's he's I've too funny. That. We got a new ladder though. Oh, I I really nice. Oh. Yes. Is it an A frame? It is. Oh. It's very nice. It's a ten foot A frame and it's very sturdy. So is it an A or is it a platform? Does it have no, a platform up top? Okay. It's an a. So ten foot A and it's really very sturdy. So nice. it's very nice. Yeah. Except for the problem with the paddle, we would have been fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I didn't do my embroidery today. I planned to do it, but I've got this enormous winter the big coat, coat. And there wasn't room enough for me and the embroidery in the front seat. Uh, instead you played Animal Crossing. I did. I did. That's also what's been taking our time. <laughs> Uh, we have gotten into the turnip game, uh, which is the stock market, if no one is aware. Um, and mom's prices had been decreasing all week, all of last week. Or not all, but Monday and Tuesday Tuesday morning. No, I called you Tuesday night, because it was after vestry. So. it still weren't good until Thursday. So, I then got a really good number on, at Tuesday night, but it was like 10 minutes before the shop was going to close on the... And I got, I FaceTime her, and she's like, what? And I go, get your game. You need to come over. Oh, because we were watching some show, and when you're in the telephone call, I then figured, it interrupted but... the, the television, so your father goes and stands two feet from the television so he can hear it. <laughs> but because he's not yelling at me because it's his daughter. Because it's me. <laughs> so, yeah, so I sold my turnips in her shop for a good price. Yeah, but we've been, we've been playing that quite a bunch. We have. Quite a bunch. Um, it's more because of the st- on the Switch than it is on the iPad. And because of the storms, I haven't been able to play Zelda because I need to focus a bit more, and that hurts with Well, the I have to have headaches. the television on because I have to see the hints. And, and I've, saved, I've got a save point prior mm-hmm. to being killed. Okay. So I can see it's going to be an hour mm-hmm. at least for me to be able to do this thing that this kid does in 30 seconds. Or I, mean, I can give up, you know. I mean, yeah, this is this I is a this is a not even side quest official side quest side quest. I right? could just no, You're, it's right. It's just this thing. I think it's more arrows and I really am chock full of arrows. So 
I may give up the side quest and head off to the tower. Yeah, because you towers. haven't even fi you haven't even finished no, the the first section. No, I haven't. I haven't. She's I going off and doing side quests <laughs> of that aren't even official side quests, and she hasn't even Most finished of these the first really section. Don't care because they're probably knitters and night gamers. But it, but it, mm. it's like deciding what your buttons are going to be before you even cast on the yoke, so you don't even know how big your buttonholes are or how big they are gonna be or what type of buttonholes you're gonna do yeah because that all affects well, on i was following how, my I know, guide i know <laughs> and i think you need to understand your guide is definitely younger than me yeah i i and, think he's probably 18 yeah so um maybe 20 Maybe. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. From like, the timber of his voice. They, they, they tend to be a bit more... This Every is not, detail. Well, and this is also not the first time this person has played through the game. Oh, absolutely so, not. Absolutely yeah. not. He has played it on various platforms. Mm. And he played a prequel, and he played... Oh, well, no, no, no. We've all played Zelda on other platforms. This no, no, is no, the it, only... Well, no, no the, of something Wild? came out early that he got his oh. hands on. Oh, and he's been working on that. Oh. oh. Yes. Yes. But yes. So that's what we've been doing. This is what happens when you give us video games. You all haven't really experienced this yet because we haven't had full console games no, since we've, we've had done this. Yeah. So and this is been, what happens. They've been smaller. You know. They haven't more, been as, yeah. Right. They this haven't is, been involved as involved. So anyway, we'll see if I do any Zelda this week. I may not. I pr I'm until you get back here for the weekend and we sit. There. <laughs> um, I'm not as coordinated. These hands are not going to get any more coordinated playing video games than they are right now. This, which is fine. This is these are not getting faster. I mean, I had a problem with that first room. I was trying to magnetically lift this thing, and it was going all over. Oh, the place. mine was too. Don't so, worry, mine know. does that too. Um. Anyway. It's a land of fantasy. I like reading teenage fantasy stuff because my mind doesn't go. When I read the adult stuff, it's too deep, too, too deep. There's there. It's too high fantasy. You prefer let like more. You you like world building, but not, not super high fantasy to the point of every little detail is explained. Right. You like a slight gloss to it. Yes. I think you'd actually like Brandon Sanderson, too, as an author. Who? Brandon Sanderson. I'll have to put yeah. it on the list. I have a growing list of authors of people who have been um, suggested. Yeah. Um, and I mean, honestly, I say it a lot with friends, um, but why? just because it's labeled YA does not mean it's only for young adults. I agree. And it's, it's the kind of fantasy that you like. You know, light witches and dragons and, and stuff, but not terribly, not, not frightening and, and not great, you know? Yeah. But anyway. It gets you reading. But I can't read while I'm doing cross-stitch. Right. Oh. I can read the audiobooks. Yes. I can read while knitting. Mm. Because I can read, so I can, my hands just knit, mm -hmm. but... I can't do that with my cross stitch because otherwise I'm off to the right. And <laughs> yeah, somewhere. I need to. I need to start reading more of my reading stuff on my iPad and not my phone. Cause yes, it it provides more text for like your swipe. Well, not only that, but I find I get eye strain with the phone. Oh, see, I I completely ignore that at this point because <laughs> I've got eye strain anyways. Let's be real. I grew up with computers. Um, but I don't get that with the iPad. Mm. Oh, so, it's, I think it's also because my brightness is set very low on my phone. I don't know. But I think it's the size of the print. <laughs> Which on my phone is still smaller than the yes. iPad. So. But anyway. I just... As we digress for, you know, 15 minutes. But that's what you come here for. <laughs> um, I do what, read on the uh, phone during bicycle. Mm. And uh, cool down. Mm -hmm. Those, yeah, those are the, well, when, when I'm being um, the TENS machine, when mm -hmm. the TENS machine, also, there's 10 minutes there, there's 10 minutes on the bicycle, and 10 minutes with the ice. So for half an hour at PT, I'm reading on my phone, but... Another one of your father's patients had said she had gone in to have an eye exam at the uh, DMV 
and she was early, so she sat in the car someplace reading on her phone, and when she got there, she didn't see her at the door, and I said, mm -hmm. yeah, you got high strain, mm -hmm. so she had yeah. to go, she said, I failed it, I said, mm -hmm. go get an appointment in the morning, mm -hmm. and you will be fine, don't read on your phone beforehand, this was before pandemic, yes, well, did you get anything in the mail? Not that I have with me, not that I can recall. Mail, I mail has mail. been... Oh, I got uh, some of your embroidery needles. Oh, the bohemian? Yes. Mm. And the eyes of the needles are very easy to thread. Yes, they are. So I may be switching my allegiance to them. Um, I ordered, actually, <laughs> a pack of sword and the pack that I got, and the pack of sword has not come. It may be that it's lost. Oh, good. I have a nosebleed. Oh, well. Um, it may eventually get here, but, you know, we'll see. I okay. may go look for it on Monday, tomorrow, tomorrow, and see what happens. I ordered vitamins, and, and I had to say, so, where are the vitamins? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, oh, we think they're lost. Let's order them again. And then they said, the if, they, if they show up twice, you can reject them. I thought, they're vitamins. You know, it's like, I'll eat these, and then I'll eat the other. It's not a big question. And honestly, with embroidery needles, I could do with two packs. So. Yeah. Not a problem. So I think it's time to weave in our ends. We and can do that. We yes. will talk to you all next week. Bye, y'all.